a very rare privilege, you know, to uh, be invited to appear before you today on a very fundamental issue that has to do with the survival of our economy. The oil and gas sector is the most critical sector of our economy. The oil and gas sector is the quickest way to solving our economic problems at the country. You heard from the Minister of Finance that you know the quickest way we can also get forex is also you know, through the oil and gas sector. And so this is one sector that is very fundamental and requires the support of all stakeholders, from the parliament, from the executive, from Nigerians, and then from the entire global community. And so we're very happy, you know, to be given this opportunity to appear before you today. And as a ministry, Minister of Petroleum, that has the responsibility of coordinating the activities of the sector, we are here to clearly commit that will fully cooperate with this committee. We will supply all relevant information that is needed by this committee so that we can collectively solve the problems. Mr. Chairman, this is one sector that is bedeviled by a lot of misinformation. This is one sector. I've been minister before, between 2015 and 2019. I was minister in Agri, And now I'm minister in Petroleum. This is one sector that has a lot of misinformation. And so I'm very happy that today we have an opportunity to be able to straighten you know, some of those you know, misinformations. And I believe that uh, if the Senate can do Nigerians a favor by you know, televising the proceedings of this committee live, it will do a whole lot of justice, not only to the Senate, but to we in the executive, to those key leaders of the industry from NNPC, from NNPPR, from NUPRC, from Dangote Refinery, from other refiners, I think that that would do a whole lot of good to all of us. I say so with a higher sense of responsibility. Because when I was in the Senate in 2007, in 2008 I was appointed chairman of the other committee. We made a mistake by not you know, doing live broadcasts. And at the end of the day, what happens you know, in the committee here is different from what is put out to the public. And because of the fundamental nature of this investigation, that has to do with economic sabotage, with alleged economic sabotage, with the importation of substandard products to the country. I believe that it is important that the Senate, you know, ensure that we do a live broadcast. So that whatever senators say, Nigerians will get to hear it real time. Whatever anybody you have invited also says, it will also, you know, get to Nigerians, you know, uh, uh, real time. Today is just an interactive session. We got the invitation only about two days ago on Monday. And so we haven't been able to put our documentation together. But I'm working with, you know, uh, uh, those in the oil and gas sector, from NNPC to NUPRC to NMDPRA, and other stakeholders who put all documents that you need, you know, so that you'll be able to do a thorough investigation geared towards improving the sector at the end of, you know, your investigation. Let me conclude, Mr. Chairman, by saying that as a government, we are committed to ensuring that we protect our local industries. There's no two ways. We are committed to protecting all stakeholders in the oil sector. Not just one company, not just one regulator, but every stakeholder deserves the protection of government. And that is the responsibility of government. And so we are committed to providing the same standard of protection for everybody. And that is what we have been doing. We may not be saying it, but that's what we have been doing. And we are committed to also ensuring that we, you know, complete the three refineries that are owned by federal government. I'm sure you just see when it comes, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll speak, you know, on that. We are committed as a country, you know, to ensuring that we'll complete the rehabilitation of those refineries so that we can reduce the level of import that, you know, um, we need, you know, to be able to uh, serve 
the needs of Nigerians. We are also committed to supporting Dangote refinery. We are committed to supporting the modular refineries. And we have been resolving whatever issues that are brought to our attention you know, uh, uh, from time to time. Let me, uh, Mr. Chairman, conclude by expressing my gratitude to you and also, you know, to reaffirm our commitment to cooperating with you, you know, to ensure that the truth is unraveled, and also to say that please take the issue of live telecast very seriously. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs>